All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Ready Maker series. This is going to be Classic Pong, the game Classic Pong, okay? Uh, it's a very easy game to make. It might be one or two videos, and then we're going to be done, okay? So you're going to go up to the plus up here, and you're going to start a new document, which is not going to be my game. Go to the plus, uh, landscape start. And what we're going to do is we're going to add some basic shapes like a border rectangle. We're going to add a circle. On the border rectangle, we're going to go Appearance, and we're going to name this Enemy. We're going to swap the visual. You're going to type in Metal and use Metal Long. So you're just clicking and holding there and then dragging this over to where Swap Visual is. Now you'll see that it rotated, so we're going to go to Rotation and make that 90. Um, what else? We want Solid to be on. That's fine. Hit in... We can make this a different tint if we want, so our enemy player can be, let's say he's going to be blue. Sorry, I'm getting a little lag on my computer here. So he's going to be blue. Um, what else do we want in there? Put horizontally, image, box collider. So everything else is good there, okay? Uh, on the puck, we're going to go and make this a little bit smaller first. So let's make this like 0.7. Whoops. 0 0.7 0 0.7 and we're also going to swap the visual here and you can type in ball here's a baseball that we can use you can use anything you want okay and drag that onto swap visual um, we are going to change the collider on here to be a circle collider so rather than it registering as a box when it hits things it'll register as a circle okay um, Flipped horizontally. We don't need a tint on there. We don't need to change the layer. I think everything else is good on that one. And then we're going to take this one and make a copy of it by clicking on this. And now you're going to drag that over to the other side. And that one we just have to change the name of. We're going to call that player. And we're going to call this one not bordered circle. We're going to call that puck. Okay. So now on the puck, if I add a behavior like clear your search, bullet, click and hold, drag, and I do the speed at like, let's say three and a half or something like that, um, active bounce, okay? So when you hit play, it'll just go back and forth now from left to right. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add movement to this guy, that way we can move it with the arrow keys, and we're going to want to start this on an angle because otherwise if you start it straight, it'll always be straight back and forth. Okay, there's no spin in this game. Um, so this, go to behavior, change the flow direction to, let's just say like 20 or something, somewhere around there. And you'll see now when I hit play, it'll start on an angle. Okay, so this guy, okay, you have to go to behaviors. You're going to add a behavior and you're going to add control pad. And with control pad, you're going to make it just up and down. So it's only up and down uh, arrows. Uh, you're going to change this from the WASD keys to the right joystick or, or the, um, the arrows. Um, let's see, what else do we want? Oh, we want to change the tint of that too. Let's make that guy, let's make him greenish. All right, so that one should be green. Why didn't that change? Let's go back in. There we go. Okay, um, so now when we hit play, we should be able to move with our arrows. But you notice that when the ball hit it, it actually backed out. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to add something else. We're going to go in here. We're going to go to behavior. We're going to add a drag. All right, so that way if you're playing on an iPad or an iPhone or if you want to use your mouse, um, you just leave this active. You can actually move it with the mouse so you can go around like this or move it with your finger when you're playing on an iPad um, next thing click on this again go to physics turn that on make his mass really large uh, lock rotation because we don't want it to spin and lock the X position because we don't want it to move back and forth left to right we just want to go up and down oh and under physics no gravity otherwise it's just gonna fall okay so let's see what that does so now with the mouse, I can still move this back and forth because it's not really the way that it's meant to be played. We really want to play it with the arrow keys. All right, so we can move this up and down. We can't go left and right. All right, so that's good. Uh, next thing, we're going to want to add a, a code uh, to our 
to our enemy we want to add some AI to him so in our event manager this will be our first event this will be called move player up and what you're gonna do is you're gonna say when the puck position is below the object below the enemy the enemy position will move let's see what do we do we did is below so we'll move down over time and how fast will he move let's just say 1.5 all right so when the puck is above the enemy he's gonna move I'm sorry when he's below the enemy he's gonna move down at this speed okay to try to hit the ball uh, add a new event this one is called move move play ooh, move enemy up hopefully I called the other one the right thing nope this one should have been down sorry down um, same thing it's just backwards so position is above object if it's above the enemy the enemy position will move up over time 1.5 speed or actually 1.5 uh, milliseconds it's it's how quickly it will do it so hit done hit play and you'll see that our guy is gonna stick with the ball so if I go like that he's just gonna keep moving up because we don't have any borders right now okay so that's the next thing so now go into add stuff go into basic shapes again we're gonna add a bordered rectangle that bordered rectangle is going to be a little bit bigger so we're gonna go let's go um, let's go a height of 8 and let's go with let's tint it uh, tint on let's make it let's just make them black okay and I'm gonna drag this so that you see the edge of the paper here we're gonna have it be just on that edge like that we're gonna copy it put one over here same exact way we're gonna copy it again this one is gonna get rotated so go into appearance go to rotate make it 90 move that whoops gotta get that in the right spot move that to be at this point and then copy that one see if we can drag that down and do the same thing on the bottom now these are all four already solids so when we play the game it should start bouncing off the top and bottom and as you can see our player is following the ball which is what we want all right so now it would make a little bit more sense to have this one be back here somewhere and to have this one be probably back there okay um, let's see next thing we want to do um, a score we want to be able to score in this game okay so with player score we need to name some things this is going to be named enemy goal and this one is going to be named player goal the reason why we name these is because when we go into the event manager let's close these you're not going to be able to tell which one is which um, see how it says border rectangle border rectangle that's the top and bottom ones but we named the other ones player goal enemy goal okay so when the puck senses a collision collide with object um, of the enemy goal okay and this one by the way is called player score um, so when it's when it hits the enemy's goal the score oh we didn't do a score label yet hang on hit done okay go back to add and we gotta do we're gonna go to interface in text and we're gonna go to score label and we're gonna bring that in and there's gonna be two of them this one is gonna be called enemy score this one we're gonna want to change the size of so let's make this like let's see if 10 is too big alright that's fine and if you want to change the color you know you guys know how to do that now okay um, I'm gonna make a copy of it and we're gonna move that one over here and there's an important step here though this has to actually be because see how it's a solid we don't want it to be a solid but we also want it to be on the user interface layer that way the ball doesn't hit the numbers okay the numbers should just stay there and the ball can go right through it so same thing here we're gonna go to uh, appearance again and we're going to change let's see we got the size what did I just change uh, oh the layer user interface okay so now let's put these back in position 
This one we're going to call player score. Now that we have two scores, we can go back in here. So when the puck senses a collision with the enemy goal, the score label, we have player score and we have enemy score. So the player score is going to score label add one. Confirm. Okay. Then we're going to do the exact opposite. Add a new event. And this is going to be enemy score. And with enemy score, we're going to have the puck is sensing a collision with the goal of the enemy goal. Nope, nope, nope. Player goal. The score label of the enemy, enemy score, score label is going to add one. Confirm. Done. All right, so let's see what happens. So when it hits my side over there, it's going to go to one. Let's see if I can actually score on him. I think my computer's lagging a little bit. You can see the player kind of lagging. I think it's time for a new computer at home. All right, well, it, it would work on that side, but you can see he keeps scoring on my side, and it would go the same way. Okay. Um, so next thing would be how do you win the game okay when the score label is gonna be uh, at least five points then it's gonna be a win so how do we do that we go into events we're gonna call this winning the game and what you're gonna do is you're gonna do when the enemy score label alright so enemy score is score label uh, let's see equal to five uh, we got to do an or here so we're gonna add or when the player score score label equal to five so it's gonna be the one whoever gets five first right you're gonna do um, puck bullet movement set speed to zero which means the ball is just gonna stop at that point when the game is over okay and um, there's another one add this and you're gonna go to well we don't have to do this step but system global set background color and we'll just make it like a green color here if I can get green come on alright so let's see what happens all right, so I'm just going to let it go and let him score on me here. Hopefully he gets to five. All right, so that's four. And this one should stop the ball when it goes in. And the background goes green, and he wins. Okay, so that's perfect. That's exactly what we want, all right? All right, so next thing here. Um, let's see, that was win the game. You want to do a win text um a you win text okay so you want something to pop up that says you win okay so what you got to do for that is you're gonna go to add you're gonna go to interface and text and you're gonna go with um, input labels is it labels I don't know if it's labels or not oh yeah sorry text box okay and go right here click on that text box go to appearance we're gonna change what it says which is right here it's gonna say you win exclamation point uh, the alignment is center we're gonna make this a little bit bigger 10 and 10 we're gonna tint it let's see where is our tint our color there's actually two colors so you can make it like a gradient if you want or you can make it um, you know whatever you want I'm gonna make this one like a light blue alright so you win I'll leave it like that that's a nice little gradient okay so now I'm going to put this outside the frame here because I don't want to see it during the game. I only want to see it when you win. Okay. So the same exact thing is going to happen here with the you lose. Okay. Game over. So we might as well make that one right now too. So go in here. Uh, go to where's our text right here. Game over. All right. Now, we got two other things we got to do on this text. We're going to go and first of all change the name of it to game over text. And you're also going to put this on the user interface layer and then put that back out. 
Oh, I'm going to change the color of that one too. Let's make that one red. Whoops. All right, game over. Let's move that one outside the game. This one, same exact thing. Appearance. We want to do, we got the color already. We want to go on the user interface layer. And we want to change this to say, you win text. Okay. And then that one, we move back out again. Every time you put something on the user interface layer, it, it moves the position. So you just move it back out. Okay. So now let's go into our programming. All right, squash this, add new event. This is going to be called you win text. Keep doing that capital E there. All right, so you'll do um, score label player. Okay, so where is that at? Score label player score. Score label um, is equal to five. Uh, let's see, we want to do the text. Whoa, I'm getting a little lag again. Hang on. The text box, the you win text, is going to position, set position, set manual, zero, zero is the center of the screen. So when you win, it's going to pop right into the center of the screen. Okay. And we want to do a, we want to do, oh, okay, we're missing something. So let's go back out. Um, we have to do a button, okay, to restart the game. So if you look here, you've got buttons, and you can grab a plain button like this, put it down here, click on that, appearance, same stuff here. This is going to be the, um, let's see, we're going to call this restart game. We're going to make it, these actually, we don't want any of these to be solids, but it really doesn't matter because they're not in the game anyways. Um, but we could turn them off because that's just the proper way of doing it. All right. So this one is going to say, it's going to be on the user interface layer. It's going to be, I don't really care about the color, but it is going to say restart game. All right, let's move that back out. Maybe we'll change the size a little bit. We'll go a little bit bigger. Let's do five, five. Okay, oh, that's pretty big. Hang on, two, two. All right, so that's out there. And let's see, back into our events, uh, back down here, you're going to do restart game, okay, the, the button, so let's see where that's, where is our restart game, boom, restart game, position, set position, uh, we want to do set manual, now rather than going front and center, because that's where the you win text is going to be, or the game over text, we want to go a little bit below that. So we're going to go 0 and negative 1 and hit confirm. Okay, so it'll pop not to the center, but a little bit lower than that. All right, so you can squash that one, add new event. We're going to do game over text. All right, so with the game over text, let's see, you win text, game over text. We're going to do pretty much the exact same thing, but it's not going to be with the same text. It's going to be with the game over text, okay? So when the enemy score label, enemy score, is score label equal to when he gets five the uh, let's see text box the you nope the you game over game over text okay um, position of that is going to set position set manual zero zero so when you lose it's gonna go game over right in the center of the screen and the same exact thing with the restart button. So restart game. Oh, we're getting lag again. We got too many things open. That's the problem. Um, let's close this. What else? All right. Um, let's see. What did we just leave off on? The restart game. Okay. The position of that is going to set position manual to the same exact spot. Zero, negative, one. Confirm. All right. Let's hit done and see what happens. Let's hit play. So when he gets five, oh, I should have moved out of the way. All right. Oh, look at that. It got stuck behind. Nice. So you get the you win text, and that was like a perfect example to show everybody. And then I should be able to click this restart button in order to, oh, we didn't program that yet, but there is a button there that we are going to program right now to restart the game. Okay. 
And if it went the other way and I got 5 over here, then it would have said game over. All right. So we haven't programmed the exact same way. Um, while I'm here, I'm going to go to backgrounds and I'm just going to throw a background on here just to make it look a little bit better because the white was kind of boring. Um, go back into programming, close this one, add new event, okay? The restart game button. When the restart button senses a touchdown, which means when you touch that button, okay, the system system restart scene. So now let's see if it gets stuck behind again. That would be awesome. One, two, three, four, five. Game over, restart game, and it starts again. Okay, so that's perfect. All right, now go back into programming again. We've got one more thing that we want to do. We want to add some sounds. Actually, get out of this for a second. Um, go on the ball, okay, and go to audio, add audio, and this is the last step. So this, this is actually almost done here. Um, let's do like a bounce sound. Let's see what that sounds like. They sound the same to me, but it's okay. Click and hold, drag that to here, okay. Um, loop is off. Volume, if you think it's too high, you can back it down a little bit. Um, volume group, you know, it's going to be in sounds. And go into the event manager. Oh, we didn't name this one. Restart game. All right. Add a new event. This last one is called sounds. And basically, very simple. When the puck senses a collision with the enemy or so we're going to add and go or or when the puck senses a collision with the player basically we're going to say play sound so now our sound is under the puck right now so if you go to puck here it'll say uh it'll say sound bounce to play sound and hit done all right so let's hit play and see what we got nice so we get our sounds all right and that's it that's the game all right pong uh, i don't know how many minutes that was let's take a look 20 minutes or so it's not too bad to make an entire game all right so i appreciate you guys watching this is uh classic pong and it's all done all right so follow me into my next one i don't know what the next game is going to be but we're going to keep making stuff all right i really appreciate you guys watching and we'll catch you in the next one. All right, thanks a lot.